All right, fantasy check-in time for the LA Clippers. Nathan Ritchie has a question. He says, Montrez Harrell, the table, has had a huge leap in improvement this season. Is there room for him to keep getting better? I think that's a good question to take a look at because people do a lot of the times think that uh, improvement is linear and that's not necessarily the case. So let's look at what Harrell's done this season. He's played an additional eight minutes per game, so that does skew some of his numbers. So if we look at it on a per 36 minute basis, you know, what sort of improvements have we actually seen from Montrez Harrell this season? Well, in fact, his scoring per 36 has gone down. So that's one thing. His rebounding has increased slightly from 8.5 to 9.6. The assists have gone from 2.1 to 2.4. But it's the defensive numbers. Steals from one steal per 36 to 1.4, and that is a not insignificant change. And blocks from 1.4 to 2. Yeah, big changes there. Everything else is pretty much in line with what he was doing before. He was 64% from the field last season and 63% from the line. This year, he's 63 and 62, so actually marginally worse with his shooting. And he did start the season quite well from the free throw line. That has dropped off pretty significantly. So a lower true shooting than last season, a lower true shooting than the year before that. The big thing that we're seeing here with him is, of course, the increase in minutes and those increase in defensive uh, stats, the steals and the blocks. He's really helping his overall value. So I, I guess <clears throat> we could look at this and say, yeah, can he continue to improve when in reality we're looking at what he's doing and outside of those defensive numbers, he hasn't actually improved in many numbers at all this season. Now his advanced stats defensively are really positive as well and that has taken a big leap forward. I'm not sure that can really get any better. The other thing we can look at for Harold is if he goes from playing 25 minutes a night, which is where he is at the moment, to playing the 28 that he he deserves to play. And I think that's the area where you know overall improvement in Harold's numbers come. He hasn't been a guy that when you've given him extra minutes, the numbers drop off. We've seen that. They stay at almost the same level. So really, you're just looking for a larger role, which given his play, he deserves to be playing more than 25 minutes per game. So there is that room for improvement there. But we're four years into the Montrez Harrell experience, and outside of this spike in steals and blocks this season, everything else on a permanent basis has been relatively the same. Um, it's just that he has improved his defensive ability and that's kept him on the floor longer. And I think that that will be able to keep him on the floor for a longer period of time moving forward. And I think that's the thing you'll see spike.